Hello there, this is the gym. And today we shall be taking this supposedly scientific personality test to see which four letters are here. I am disappointed to see that fuck and cunt are not two of the four letter words I can have. Uh, do, do, do. Who cares if some line insecure enough to fucking bombard your box? Editor's note. Uh, you work for okay, Cupid. Don't care. F versus fuck. Okay, I versus E. North versus South. Jack off versus penal. Okay, and you can go to Kersey dot com. Hmm. Okay, well, don't forget to rate your test. I ain't gonna fucking rate it. Let's go. Oh, uh, when the phone rings, do you? Yeah, it's usually a bill collector. Uh, but I fucking see who the hell's on it. So if it's someone I want to talk to, then yeah, I'll get to it first. If not, then I'll fucking let the answering machine get it. I think this was written before we had fucking that ability and built into all phones. I'll go with that. Are you more observant than introspective or introspective than observant? Hmm. Well, mm. ah, I think I'm more introspective. I like to look inwards. I do like to observe things, but, you know, mastery of myself. Fuck it. <sighs> Is it worse to have your head in the clouds or be in a rut? Mm, yeah, it's worse to be in a rut, because at least in the clouds you could fucking be entertained. Mm. With people, are you usually more firm than gentle? Fuck yeah, fuck off. I fucking hate you, fucking cuddle box. Die. Are you more comfortable in making critical judgments or value judgments? Ooh, I think I would rather have value to my judgments. Fucking don't need to bounce around constantly worrying about one disaster to the next. I'd rather be capable of fucking, you know, keep my head above water. Is clutter in the workplace something you take time to straighten up or tolerate pretty well? I tolerate it pretty well. So I am a lazy bastard. Is it your way to make up your mind quickly or pick and choose at some length? I like to take my time, consider my options. Then murder people. Waiting in a line, do you often chat with others and stick to business? Most people annoy the piss out of me. Uh, are you more sensible than idealistic or idealistic than sensible? I like to think I'm more sensible than idealistic because being idealistic is fucking pissantry. And quite frankly, frequently proven wrong. Are you more interested in what is actual that I can touch and see? What is possible where things will lead? I like to have more possibilities. I don't need to be able to touch everything I see. <clears throat> in making up your mind about something, are you more likely to go by data and facts, desires and feelings? Facts, baby. Who's attacking me from where? Fuck them. They can die. In sizing up others, do you tend to be objective and, per and personal? Or friendly and personal? Fuck you. I hate everything. 
Do you prefer contracts to be signed, sealed, and delivered, or settled on a handshake? Mm. You know, I usually like to settle things on a handshake. When there's too much fucking shit in the world. I will go with that, though. Fuck it. Because I seldom make contracts. Unless I'm fucking signing up for work. Are you more satisfied having a finished project or work in progress? I actually prefer having a work in progress. I like working on things. At a party, do you interact with many, even strangers, or interact with a few friends? Most people make me vomit. Do you tend to be more factual than speculative or speculative than factual? Hmm. Do I spec to say this is fucking a rough one because I like to speculate based upon facts. You know, going through history, looking, seeing what the hell repeats and shit. I have to say I am a bit more factual because, fuck it, I would rather see reality than just fucking make up random hypotheses that make no sense. See that a lot these days. Do you like writers to say what they mean or use metaphors and symbolism? I like the metaphors and symbolism. It makes me use my brain. Ah. <sighs> Which appeals to you more? Consistency of thought or harmonious relationships? Fuck it. Fuck harmony. Okay, fuck the fog box. I don't fucking give a shit. Uh, I'd rather someone be brutally blunt. They fucking hate my guts than fucking suck my cock in some gesture of fucking happy, happy, joy, joy thoughts. Everyone just get along. Piss off. If you must disappoint someone or break up with them, are you usually frank and straightforward or warm and considerate and not so direct, maybe? Fuck off. If we're done, we're done. Piss off. On the job, do you want your activities scheduled or unscheduled? I prefer them unscheduled. <sighs> Do you more often prefer final unalterable statements or tentative preliminary statements? Uh, I think I prefer that. You know, that way I get a hard facts. Fuck you. Does interacting with strangers energize you or tax your reserves? Oh, fuck. This depends upon how I'm interacting with them. Hmm. And also their level of idiocy. Hmm. No, I'd have to say it kind of energizes me. Fuck it. <sighs> Because when they say something that's interesting, it's good. And then if they say something that pisses me off, then I'll just want to fucking beat them in the head, which is good. Facts speak for themselves or illustrate principles, give general ideas. Really? You're saying that a fact is a fucking, oh, God, a subjective concept as opposed to an empirical one. If it is proven to be fact, it is fucking immutable. Fuck off. You're an idiot. Do you find visionaries and theorists somewhat annoying? Yes. In a hideous situation, do you stick to your guns, look for common ground? 
Uh, I tend to stick to my guns. But I'm just as able to change my mind because I may be wrong. Uh, is it better to be just or merciful? Just fuck off. If you need a bullet in the head, you get one. There's a bullet for everyone. In a time and a place. Yes, a bullet for everyone. At work or school, is it more natural for you to point out mistakes regardless of who made them? Or try to please others regardless of their rank? Fuck off. Wow. <clears throat> this is actually an interesting question because I am seldom in that position. I think the last time I was actually in a position where I had to point out mistakes or try to please everyone was when I was working at McDonald's. And I loved pointing out the mistakes of the drugs wanting the double cheeseburger when we were on the late night menu. <sighs> yeah, fuck off. We didn't serve it. And now because you didn't buy enough of the high money items, it's no longer a 24-hour store. Piss off. Ha ha. You suck. Are you more comfortable after a decision or before a decision? <sighs> I actually think before decisions where I'm more comfortable. Because I like to think on it. Dwell on it, then make my statement. Hmm. Do you tend to say right out what's on your mind or keep your ears open? Oh, fuck. See, I do say what the fuck's on my mind, but I like to hear what others say so that way if they're spotting idiots, see, I could call them a fucking idiot. Uh, I think I'll go with this. Actually, no, I go with that because I tend to listen a lot before I fucking state my piece. That way I have a better idea where people are coming from. Common sense is usually reliable or not enough on its own. Hmm. That's an interesting way to word things. Because what good is having common sense without having the fucking wisdom and experience to use it? Hmm. But I'll go with usually reliable. Because if you have the experience to use it well, then good. If not, then you're fucked. Children often do not make themselves useful enough or exercise their imaginations enough. Oh, fuck. They don't exercise their imaginations enough. Seriously. Fucking talk to enough of these fucking kids who are atheists out there. They have no idea how to fucking debate against people of religion. Dear God, they can't use their imagination for five seconds to pretend that there's a fucking invisible guy out there fucking pulling some strings. Just pretend it. Then you can argue these bastards better. But no, you're a fucking moron. Fucking use your imagination, you bastards. God, and I can fucking say the same thing about just about all the other fucking kids that fucking sit there and hype out theories on this and that. Just citing them off by rote without using an ounce of imagination to see how exactly it would be applied. Fuck off. Uh, when in charge of others, do you tend to be firm and consistent, unwavering, or forgiving and lenient? Mm. You know what? I do tend to forgive a lot and be lenient about a lot of things, even though I fucking want to stab people in the face eight million times. <sighs> Are you a cool-headed person or a warm-hearted person? 
I try to be more cool-headed. That way I don't fucking go to jail for stabbing people. Because if I was warm-hearted, it would be their blood on my hands. Are you prone to kneeling things down or leaving things open? I like leaving things open. <sighs> like a bit of chaos in life. Am I more deliberate than spontaneous or spontaneous than deliberate? Fuck. I like to state things with purpose, but I also fucking like to shit on things. I uh, will go spontaneous. I think myself as an outgoing person or a private person. Well, I really don't fucking kite much. Then again, I fucking hate people. Hmm. I'll say outgoing. Are you more frequently a practical sort of person who does the things tried and true way? Or a creative sort of person who thinks outside the box? I prefer thinking outside the box. Trying to figure out my own damn things. And then if I fail, I fucking fail. Do you speak more in particulars and details rather than generalities or the big picture or vice versa? Uh, hmm. Hmm. I think I'm more of the generalities type. You know, I like to bring up facts as I do so. Tend to focus more on the general. Which is more of a compliment. That's a logical person. That's a selfless, thoughtful person. I'd rather be logical than selfless and thoughtful. Fuck your feelings. Which rules you more? My thoughts. Fuck my feelings. If they get hurt, they get fucking hurt. Boo hoo who gives a shit. Pawn your fucking big girl panties and fucking act like a fucking tough shot. Piss off people. Who gives a fuck? Okay. When finishing a job, do you like to tie up loose ends or move on to something else? Hmm. Okay. Now, when I fucking play games, I usually fucking try to 100% shit. <sighs> it's best I can. I don't typically move on to something else unless it's so fucking boring. So we'll go with that. Hmm. Do you prefer to work on a project with a due date in mind or just whenever? I think the due date pushes me further. Are you the kind of person who is rather talkative or doesn't miss much? I like to fucking sit there and watch people be idiots so I could plan my ways to stab them. Are you more inclined to take what is said more literally at face value or more figuratively and try to figure out the real point? Hmm. Say more figuratively. Because I fucking hate it when things are fucking spelled out for me. I like to use my brain. Except when I'm fucking talking to the people I date, then yeah, I'd rather fucking have a direct answer at some things, because things get too vague there, but I do prefer more figurative speech overall. Do you often think about what's right in front of you, the here and now, or what you can imagine about the future? I like the future. I like having my head in the clouds every now and then. 
Is it worse to be a softy or bull? And it is worse to be a softy. Because you can't fucking take life. Life's just gonna fucking be misery for you. Boo hoo, die. In trying circumstances, are you sometimes too unsympathetic or too sympathetic? Too unsympathetic. Do you tend to choose rather carefully, like making a pro and con list, or rather impulsively, usually based on your whims? I tend to be a bit more careful, though I do like my fucking impulsive decisions. They're fun. Are you more inclined to be more hurried and leisurely, or leisurely than hurried? Uh, more leisurely, I'd say. Kick back, relax, I'm a lazy bastard, fuck off. At work or school, do you tend to be sociable with your colleagues or keep to yourself? I keep to myself because not everyone likes to hear how I'd like to fucking teabag their corpse. Are you more likely to trust your past experiences or your own ideas? Hmm. Fuck. How the hell do I dissect that one? Hmm. How the fuck do I dissect that one? Because I trust my past experiences and my own ideas, but my ideas change based upon my... Ex I guess experiences would be probably the best way to do it. Because I fucking lived a life and I know what not to do because I already did what you shouldn't do and fucking suffered the consequences thereof. <sighs> I also fucking had a lot of fun. Aren't you more inclined to feel down to earth or somewhat removed? Somewhat removed. Do you think yourself as a tough-minded person or a tender-hearted person? Tough-minded Fuck off. You can die. Do you value yourself more that you are? Do you value yourself more that you are reasonable or devoted? Hmm. I do get devoted to certain causes and shit, but I always leave the option open to change my mind. Because sometimes there was that how I was given. Do you usually want things settled and decided or just penciled in? Just penciled in. Like having a little chaos in my life. Mm. Would you say that you are more serious and determined or easygoing? I'm a lazy bastard. <sighs> Do you consider yourself a good conversationalist or a good listener? Uh, we'll go with good listener. Now we'll go with good fucking conversationalist because I don't always pay attention to people. <clears throat> Do you prize in yourself? A stronghold or on reality or a vivid imagination. Fuck. 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 I mean, this is fucking hard. Because I like having a stronghold on reality, so that way I can figure out what the fuck the world's going on. But on the other hand, I like to fucking randomly think about fucking stupid shit that's completely fictional. It would never fly in real life. Like summoning magical fireballs for my anus would shoot out in lightning bolts and fucking desecrate all humanity. I think imagination is probably better. 
are you drawn more to fundamentals or overviews? Uh, fundamentals. I like to see the core causes as opposed to just getting on general grasp. Which seems the greater fault? To be too compassionate or to be too dispassionate? To be too compassionate. Fuck off, more people need executed. Hmm. If you need to figure something out, I think through it alone, then share the results. I think better if I can talk it through out loud. Hmm. I usually think through things by talking to myself. So I guess that would count of talk, thinking it through alone. Because I just fucking talk to myself. And then I hear my fucking ideas. I mean, this is kind of suggesting that I would rather talk it through with other people. So I think thing. I don't really like sharing my ideas until I have fucking figured it out enough. And then I can either be proven or disproven. Or it still be left up in the air as fucking random bullshit. Do you feel better about coming to closure or keeping your options open? I prefer keep my options open. To stab or not to stab, that is the question. To whether it be nobler to fucking jab your cock in someone's eye socket or to have fucking butt plugs for everyone. Tis the season of the season to be murder people and things. Is it preferable... Mostly to make sure things are arranged to some degree, at least. Or just let things happen naturally. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Very interesting. Hmm. See, I like to fucking keep things arranged to some degree. I do enjoy chaos in my life. And we'll go with that because it does have a caveat. Are you more inclined to be easy to approach or somewhat reserved? I'm usually somewhat reserved because I piss people off. In stories, do you prefer action and adventure or fantasy and heroism? Fantasy and heroism. Even though I do like my action and adventure. You know, the fantasy world with fucking flying unicorns and peeling people is much more fun. Is it easier for you to put others to good use or identify with others? I would rather put them to good use. You are all my pawns. You can die for me. Which would you be more loath to give up? The strength of will or the strength of emotion? I would not want to fuck out my strength of will. <sighs> hmm. Do you see yourself as basically thick-skinned or thin-skinned? Thick-skinned. Fuck it. Trample on my emotions all you want. I'll fucking still piss you off. Do you tend to notice disorderliness or opportunities for change? Hmm. <sighs> uh, I think opportunities for change. Why not? Now nah, we'll say disorderliness. Okay. Or opportunities for change. I don't know. This is all I'm 50 50 on. We'll go with that. Are you more 
routinized and one who follows whims or one who follows whims and is not that routinized. Hmm. Uh, uh, I'm fucking stuck in a rut half the time. Half the time, I like to just do whatever the fuck I feel like. I think I'll go with falls my whims. So I just do whatever the fuck I feel like. Okay. I'll go to my birth here at least. I don't need to give you all my fucking information here. Uh, There we are. And while we're at it, let's go here. And yeah, that looks good. Okay. Uh, Are you single? No. No, no, one more quick page. It ain't worth it. Show me my result. I am the architect. I am more introverted than extroverted. You are more intuitive than observant. And you are more thinking based than feeling based. And you prefer to go with the flow rather than have a routine. Architect, single word, which belongs to a larger group of rationals. Oh, good, I'm rational. Fucking square root of negative one, motherfuckers. No, wait, that's irrational. Mm. I wish to sculpt the world around me. Others often find you arrogant, yet you have no desire to direct others, only to inform them. You must know the structure of things and have a voracious appetite for knowledge. You are very rational in everything you do and probably consider yourself smarter than most. Oh, gee, I call myself... A god, do you think? As a romantic partner, you can be playful with great energy to get things started. But not quite as good on the follow-through. Fucking ass the bitches I've fucking been with. (laughs) I always get them off. In fact, fucking last girlfriend actually complained it always had to be an earth-shattering orgasm. Mm. Fuck off. You have a tendency to hurt the more emotional types unintentionally by not sharing your own reactions and feelings as you can get swept up in your own ideas and projects. I do share my fucking reactions and feelings. It's just that half the time my feelings are arbitrary. Unless there's something that's like, you know, uh, not that pertinent. I am far more thinking. And for more perspective. Okay, well there. See, I'm just about average here with the I to E. And I'm just about average to the N to S. I fucking blew off the scales of the thinking and the fucking perception. Okay, what does all it say about rationals? Found directly, not found, okay. Yep, not found, okay. Uh, your type summary. Oh, this is even more thought out. 
Architects are rare, maybe 1% of them show the greatest precision in thought and speech of all the types. They tend to see distinctions between inconsistencies, instantaneously detect contradictions, no matter when or where they are made. It is difficult for an architect to listen to nonsense, even in casual conversation, without pointing out the speaker's error. And in any serious discussion or debate, architecture, architects are devastating. Their skill in framing arguments giving them an enormous advantage. Architects regard all discussions as a search for understanding and believe their function is to eliminate inconsistencies, which can make communication with them an uncomfortable experience for many. Masters of Design, theoretical systems, including school curricula, corporate strategies, new technologies. The world exists primarily to be analyzed, understood, and explained. And redesigned under my fucking guideship. That's right, you can all die. External reality in itself is unimportant. Little more than raw material to be organized into structural models. Well, I wouldn't say external reality is unimportant. <clears throat> Just randomly running a mountain shit. Ah. <sighs> what is important for architects is that they grasp fundamental principles and natural laws. And that their design... So are elegant, that is, efficient and coherent. <laughs> this pragmatists about ideas and insatiably curious. Architects are driven to find the most efficient means to their ends. And they will learn in any manner and degree they can. They will listen to amateurs if their ideas are useful and will ignore experts if theirs are not. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Fuck experts. Whenever you're an expert in bullshit, that still makes you bullshit. <laughs> And if half the time amateurs do present interesting ideas, I have to fucking comprehend. In order to see where the fuck they're going with it, because sometimes it is their idea that drives things. And keeps me from stabbing them in the face repeatedly. Authority derived from office, credential, or celebrity does not impress them. Fuck yeah, it does not impress me whatsoever. Fuck the government, fuck your degree, and f I don't care how many fucking followers you have. Fuck off, you just need to die. Architects are interested only in what makes sense. And thus, only statements that are consistent and coherent carry any weight with them. Mm -hmm. Even if I fucking disagree. Uh, architects often seem difficult to know. They are inclined to be shy, with, except with close friends, and their reserve is difficult to penetrate. Able to concentrate better than any other type, they prefer to work quietly at their computers or drafting tables, and often alone. Yes, I do prefer to work alone, and then fucking stab people. Architects become obsessed with analysis, and this can seem to shut others out. Yes, that happens a lot. I like to fucking read things. Once caught up in a thought process, architects close off and preserve, persevere, blah, until they comprehend the issue and all its complexity. Yep. Architects prize intelligence, and with their grand desire to grasp the structures of ability, grasp the structure of the universe, 
They seem arrogant and they show impatience with others who have less ability or who are less driven. Yes, I will set you on fire, you fucking bastards. <sighs> Interesting. Now this does seem like a fucking horoscope wording, but you know. It does fucking do what it does fucking do. This is the gym. And now you know why I tell you to piss the fuck off.